Imagine you're hiking a beautiful mountainside, taking selfies, and suddenly, boom, the ground shakes, smoke rises, and lava starts pouring out like the earth just cracked open a soda can. That's not just a bad vacation, that's a volcanic eruption. But why does this happen? Why does the earth sometimes explode from the inside out like it just got way too angry? Let's dive into the hot molten world beneath our feet and find out. First, you need to know this. The Earth's interior is ridiculously hot. We're talking over 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit at the core. That's hotter than the surface of the sun. Beneath the crust lies the mantle, a layer of semi-solid rock so hot it moves, very slowly, like syrup. And this movement builds pressure. Volcanoes form when there's a weak spot in Earth's crust, and that hot, pressurized magma finds a way to escape. Once it gets the chance, it rockets to the surface with steam, gas, and fury. So basically, the Earth has gas, and sometimes it burps fire. Gross, but epic. Most volcanoes sit on tectonic plate boundaries, places where the Earth's crust is shifting. There are a few types of plate interactions that cause eruptions. Subduction zones. One plate slides under another, melting into magma. Example, the Pacific Ring of Fire, Japan, Indonesia, Chile. Rift zones. Plates pull apart, creating space for magma to rise. Example, East Africa. Hot spots. Not a fault line, but a random weak spot where magma rises from deep within the mantle. Example, Hawaii. In short, volcanoes. Volcanoes are Earth's way of relieving stress. It's like the planet needs a spa day with lava. A volcano isn't just a big mountain with a hole on top. It's a whole underground system. Magma chamber, where the molten rock is stored. Conduit, the tunnel magma travels through. Vent, the opening where lava, ash, and gases escape. Crater, the bowl-shaped pit formed around the vent. So next time you see a volcano, know that it's not just chilling. Think of magma as a really fizzy soda. The gases inside want out. If the crust above is solid and thick, pressure builds like a shaken soda bottle. Eventually, the crust cracks, or gets blasted open, and the gas and magma explode out. That's your eruption. Some eruptions are gentle, like Hawaiian lava flows that you could outrun in flip-flops. Others are violent, shooting ash and rock miles into the air like Mount Saint. Helens in 1980. And then there's the big one, supervolcanoes. These are rare, but when they erupt, they can change the climate, like Yellowstone. Yes, that Yellowstone. It's basically a sleeping giant. Volcanoes don't just spit out lava. They also launch ash clouds, tiny glass particles that can damage lungs and airplanes. Lahars, mud flows of ash and water, like rivers of wet cement. Pyroclastic flows, superheated gas and debris that move faster than a sports car. Basically, if you see a volcano erupting, don't stand around filming for Instagram. Run, here's something wild. Big volcanic eruptions can cool the planet. How? Ash and sulfur dioxide released into the atmosphere can block sunlight, lowering global temperatures for months or even years. In 1815, Mount Tambora erupted in Indonesia, causing the year without a summer in parts of Europe and North America. Crops failed. Volcanoes may be Earth's natural thermostat, but it's a brutal one. Can we predict eruptions? Kind of. Scientists monitor volcanoes for signs like earthquakes nearby, gas emissions, swelling of the ground. Yes, volcanoes bloat. But predicting the exact day or hour? Not so much. Volcanoes are moody. They can show all the signs, then do nothing. Or they can blow with little warning. That's why scientists are obsessed with watching them. They're basically the drama queens of geology. Are volcanoes all bad? Surprisingly, no. Volcanoes also help life. Volcanic soil is super fertile, great for farming. New islands form from lava. Hello, Hawaii. Some minerals we use in tech come from volcanic areas. Geothermal energy equals clean electricity from Earth's heat. So, yeah, volcanoes destroy, but they also give back, like a destructive but generous roommate. Here are some of the world's most active volcanoes. Kalawea, Hawaii, constantly erupting. Mount Etna, Italy, has been active for centuries. Mount Merapi, Indonesia, frequently explosive. Mount Niragongo, Congo, known for fast-moving lava. If you visit these, bring a camera and maybe running shoes. Volcanoes aren't just a scientific phenomenon. They're Hollywood icons. Think about all the movies where a mountain suddenly turns into a lava-spewing monster. From Dante's Peak to Volcano to every other end-of-the-world documentary on cable, volcanoes have become become symbols of unstoppable natural power. Even video games and comics feature them as dramatic backdrops or deadly arenas. Why? Because nothing screams danger like red-hot lava and explosive fury. Beyond the drama, volcanoes are often used as metaphors in music, poetry, and memes. So whether you're a science nerd, movie lover, volcanoes have a place in your life. Volcanoes are terrifying, fascinating, and essential to Earth's story. They shape the land, influence the climate, and remind us that the ground beneath us isn't as stable as it seems. Drop your thoughts in the comments? We reply to every single one. The most liked comment might just become our next video. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more explosive science. See you in the next video.